heaven undoubtedly is an unspeakable place, full of grace and full of glory. You can think of many times you want to take up tonight. And you can bring that heaven. So much different than what we see here. Amen. Have a vision of heaven. I want to read you a letter, a read a song. Let me get Steve to sing it for me. He says it takes a little effort for he has. <laughs> he promised me he's going to do it, but I said, well, I'll talk about it. We don't have to sing it, I'll just read it. I said, the reason why I'm going to read it because several years ago, I went to a little church down in the e eastern part of Oklahoma. A mother, I believe it was. And there's a man woman that sent a song. This song is what I want to quote for you tonight. The song is the song I dreamed I searched heaven for you. Wow. And then we were all over that church building singing. And they stopped the different ones. I never forgot that, but I will. This is what it says. It said, I prayed that I had gone to that city. That city would never come tonight. And I saw the bright angels and the glory. And I saw the permanence of light. I gave them for long, long years. The years of rapture on the face of my Savior. So true. And I sang with the seraphim holy. And I dreamed. I searched heaven for you. I think I searched heaven for you. I searched blindly. Through heaven for you. Oh, won't you be prepared to meet me up there? Lest we each did search heaven for you. He said, I wrote both on the sides of the river that flows through the city of God, and I searched the bright mansions celestial and the streets of gold paved I trod. The face of saints by bridges I scanned to see that face. That I had cherished so far away, the face that had grown so dear to me. And I asked 10,000 sweet angels, Have you seen the beloved one? Pray tell me. Have you met in the bright clouds of heaven the one on whom earth we loved so well and shook their heads sadly and told me they had never seen you? Then I knew that somewhere. The darkness you wanted, lost in your sins. And I believe I start saying for you. I, I just uh, thought about this a lot. It went to my spirit. And there are so many uh, of my friends that are gone. And my, uh, my whole family, I'm the only one. One of these days, I'm going to get there. Then I'm going to start searching heaven for you. I'm hoping I'll find every one of them. For one thing, I do know for sure. The scripture says, in the streets of the city of New Jerusalem will be filled with plain children. My little girl, what do you do? Don't have to search for her. Because she'll be there. But my brothers, I have twin brothers, and my brother there somewhere. And I trust my old dad to her because he served the enemy for years. When I was overseas, I prayed. I said, God sent somebody to my dad to lead me to Christ. And one day, my brother went to see him. And he said to my brother, I got religion. He said, a preacher came by the day and said, I accepted Jesus. I'm going to look for the old law headed man for his days. Amen. I'm going to search that time. There's two things I want to think about tonight. Heaven is a wonderful place, and we do this just a dream. It may not be a true. It's possible that we don't have to do it to search it. But it may not be possible. It may be the thought. There's two things to think about. 
There are people living in this region because they already know that they're now. There's not any doubt in your mind, in my mind, some of the people I know are going to be there. And a dear old pastor friend, Pastor McCauley, he started the church in San Springs years ago, and he and I have been good friends. He's a little bit like my dad. He's a great fisherman. I get there, I'm going to go to the banks of that river. I'm going to see whether we'll call it there with the rod and wheel in this head. I mean, this is a dream. But what a wonderful feeling it gives me. Those kind of things you think about, you know, it's reality, heaven is real. When he passed away, his son told me, he said, that's gone. I said, where's he gone? He said, he went fishing. Well, I said, I was not going with him. Because what he said, well, he didn't go fishing here on earth. He went there with the fishing. Well, it looked like it's a little bit different. I'm not ready to go there yet, but I'll go one of these days. And then we think about the, so many of our friends that you know. And you almost know that they're not right with God. Is it possible that you and I might be the only link between the other and heaven? In order to make it to get to heaven, you have to make a decision. I mean, you can't just guess at it and get it wrong and say, I want to get there and never do anything about it. If you're going to get there, you've got to make a decision. You've got to make a choice. Let's give you a little example. I passed a church years ago in Walters, Oklahoma. We had a dear old man that came to church. Nobody cared anything about it because he was mentally retarded. I guess that's not what I said on the word. I think he's just that little boy. He did it by himself. He ate from the garbage in the not to the alley. I'm sitting in front of the chicken leg, chewing on it. My church was the only church he was well on there. He came every time to church. I didn't have to announce I had a revival. I started the meeting. He'd tell everybody in town. We're having a meeting. The other town passed away. He had no families. He lived on welfare. In those days, it wasn't very much. When I went to the funeral hall, I thought, well, we'll have to probably have to help pay for this funeral. When I went to the funeral hall to talk to the student director and get things going, he said to me, he said, you don't have to worry about John. Nobody would have to pay for his funeral. He paid for it himself. He said, every month. He could come with a handful of pennies to pay for his funeral. To make a preparation. I thought that all over and over and over again. When I fixed his funeral, I said, You folks think John was crazy, but he has more sense than most of us. He made preparation to die and meet God. And you were sitting here, still thinking about it, and you haven't made a decision yet. When I get to heaven, I'm going to search the city to find this car. We have all these teeth, you've never had any teeth, they have been all over the world. You have all these teeth. You have this bright mind. I don't know about you, but when I think about heaven, I get goosebumps all over me. I know there's a hell, but I'm not just interested in hell, I'm not going there. I won't be searching for anybody's hell or anything. If you happen to go there, don't search for me because I'll be a lot. Yeah. 
most monasteries are gone. Most Christian friends have known many of the years they're already in heaven. I, I suppose there may be certain heaven for me right now, thinking I didn't make it. But then, <laughs> I suppose there may be certain heaven for me right now, thinking I didn't make it. But then, I suppose there may be certain heaven for me right now, thinking I didn't make it. So there's two sides to it. Those who prepare to go, those who are not prepared. You can postpone it, you can put it off, and say yes. If you are honest, I ask you if you want to go to heaven, you say yes. Are you ready? You might have to say, well, I'm ready. If you're not ready, you can make ready tonight. If there's any doubt in your mind, in your spirit, that you're not ready, because it could happen anytime. You don't mind, I'm going to tell you a story that Dr. McGee, Denise's mother passed away a few months ago. She's a very godly woman, and her, her father will be dead for several years. Because my mama died with sadness and grief. And Dr. Reggie told me, said, Brother, said, the Lord gave me a vision. And mom walked to the city. Dad, mayor, at the gates. It's the cutting door. Walked the, the gates of the city. They said, I tell you that. Make preparation. Amen. Pray for the Lord. Never too late until it's too late. Would you just join me for a few moments? Just join me for a few moments. Would you head down with me? I never want to embarrass anyone. But on the other hand, I don't want to ever be a moment that I should not be able to be heard me speak an opportunity to make a decision. If you're not right with the Lord, I invite you to make a decision on righteousness and say yes to Him. I want to make preparation. I'm going to put my life to you. My heart of it all. That when we come to the end of the journey, nobody will have to wonder that you made it. I'm going to pray. And I want you, if you have not accepted him, just to pray with me. And open your heart and accept him. Lord Jesus, we thank you tonight for the privilege you've given to us to pray with you. Call from the name that's above every name in heaven and earth, the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for the hope of heaven we have in our spirit tonight. Paul said in paradise that he saw was unspeakable. It was so vast and so great and so magnificent. That he could not even utter a word to him. He could give a description of what he saw. And then I thought, it's so difficult to find words to express the hope that we have in the life to come. The problem passes through this life is not all bad, it's still a wonderful occasion. To be in your presence that we are at this very moment. To feel the tender touch of the Master's hand. And to feel the echo of your spirit in the face of this. And your mercy, Lord, is from everlasting to everlasting. We love all of us, regardless of our circumstances. It's a real that we all make it to the safe in the city of God. Place we call paradise. Lord Jesus, 
thank you. And bless each one of us here tonight. And that what I have said will comfort and uplift in this dark hour we've been dealing with. So many problems in our world. And if we look at those, we become discouraged. But we lift up our eyes and be humble. This world of the paradise. My dear fellow, we'll be one day in the uproars of it. In Jesus' name, Lord, we give you praise and glory and honor and thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you tonight. There's no prayers. The God of the Lord is well. God bless you by time and offering tonight. It is your giving, it is your time for you. It keeps our church going and the bills. <clears throat> At this particular moment, uh, we're not going to sing it anything ourselves. We have not asked for any sound yet. We have not come on the lead, but not at the moment. We just trust in God and want to see, first of all, that the church standards and steady with us. So for the sun so it's your giving that makes it possible. Thank you. And that I have for her at the moment is for the bills. <laughs> okay. Now bless you. Well, I dreamed that I had died and gone to heaven. I stood just outside the eastern gate, and the man 